guys, it's Orchid Lover again here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna tell you what's happened to my Symbidium Orchid Hybrid. It's Symbidium, a that's the name of it. And look at this, guys. After I did this, all these dyes here. Nice and nice plastic color and very, very light. After I did that, why well, this one is just like this. This spike is just like that size like that inch and now look at this week later it turned open up this all of this open up and this one actually come out like this it's really really smart plant look at that guys it's very exciting for this and um every day i just put them in direct sun especially in very very morning lights Mary morning light like seven o'clock or six o'clock i really put this direct sunshine and it seems to me she really really like it <laughs> look at how many buds she had here and I'm so excited and also this white ties whatever you call this this white ties I trained this like that when when this spike is still little you can see that in my first video I down I put this in the description below so you will follow what I'm doing with this so I tie this one like that and she looks so really good because if you don't tie it up, it will like this. It will turn like that in the corner. But it's really good looking and it's really looking not net your flower spike and also the flower itself. And this one is keep growing up on the top. So that's how you train your Simpidium hybrid or kid spike before they really turn fully matured or they open all the flowers. It can be really really exciting because it's almost open so you have to be patient well this one is all this one is budding and really nice and healthy you just leave it in the place where you do not moving moving all the time because I've noticed if you keep moving this beautiful flower or buds that just approaching it will remove quickly so just don't move it too much don't keep moving them too much otherwise you lose some buds I lost one of them because one one of them as well when I move it so when when this one is flowering like that just let them steady if you can put it outside that's fine but then again guys it's always always good if you work with your environment too so I work in my environment and in winter I have to put it outside just to get really nice sunshine in daytime and then in the before the night time I slowly put this inside the house so this is really indoor but before you induce this one to become a flowering apple you have to put this in the greenhouse so in order for them to bloom like this or giving you spike you really have to give them in the in the greenhouse if you don't have greenhouse just put in the area where nice and a bit cooler area so before the really really winter really frozen comes really cold frozen wherever you are we are here in Australia so before it's really really frozen have a look with your weather and then this time it goes inside but this week it's kind of nice and warm we probably getting nearly in spring now which is really really cool and I'm really excited this guys to show this to you as long as this one is opening look at this beautiful 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 buds this one here I really 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 like it so when this one I tell you when this one just like that size that inch I just keep going this this one the ties is from here and then I just keep going this every day make sure you don't tie it too much like here because in my heart in my heart the, your um, if you tie it too much you probably hurt your spike so I just let them be a little bit loose like this so it's not really strong though so still a little bit air coming up and so you can't get through that's good so when this one is going up and going up I just keep going this slowly slowly so that's what I did with the same video I did and also guys I notice every day she is sending this beautiful drop here Jew as you can see as well you know let's focus this camera there you go so you can see there is some tiny bit of water or do this early in the morning actually kind of sap when you do like this it's kind of sticky so I always try to remove that through the paper 
so be careful laying this around because they could be pull or remove your little bud so I can do that or you can do it with the cotton buds kind of sticky sticky it must be the juice you know so that's what they send out every day that's what I notice and also this one I don't give them water every time if I see them really dry not very dry because see here it's really dry so when they see I see this at least in the winter just once flower this uh, shop watering this once a week it depends in your environment in my weather here if it's nice and dry or uh, nice weather in daytime and this one a little bit lighter the cymbidium pots if you see if you get this hanger lovely hanger here if you do like that you carry it and it kind of very kind of light then it's really indicates that you need the water but it's really nice big soda bulb here and this this is the new growth you know that is the new growth why would I go with the new growth why you this is a new growth how would you identify that that is new growth because this as I said in my first vlog the first video about the symbidium products this is the new growth that like opening it like this but if this one is just kind of really really pointy which is really showing in the future then either new growth or the the another spike like this they're the same color so it's a little bit confusing if you don't know how it look like but if you know how they look like then it's not so confusing for you which is really really good that's it it's so opening up now and there is more actually see this one here guys that's the pointy here it's just only a baby as well but not very very baby anymore compared last time that i giving a video it's just more pointing out and more showing up now than hiding a little bit there in the corner or in the edge of this really fat really really fat soda bulb see the reservoir here that's a lot of water in here which is i really really like this video so i cover up this i didn't notice any of the little tiny snails anymore very tiny so must be solved the problem from this little snail you know what's the magic spray that we put H2O2 it's a uh, hydrogen peroxide all right and this is obviously the new spike approach you know why you know that that's a new spike because this is not separate or it's not two of them like this like really two and one here and one here but this is clearly really really straight to the point like that and nice and shiny silky so that's really awesome um, there's the new some few here i think we'll see no it's not there they're still hiding <laughs> it's just really exciting to show this every time it's more here or not let's see I found one of them more here oh my goodness it's more there but very very tiny guys as you can see right there right there in my hand oh, it's too dark right there right there let's see this little thing before now hide it for a bit and this pot of simbi jump i'm gonna put this in direct sunshine it's very very early here and it's nice and bright but it's not very very sore in your skin so that's really good in the winter you can put this in the winter wherever you are if you're in the western world you can put this outside in the full sun in the winter as long as they're 18 degrees or 19 you will be fine mostly in the, in the winter it's not really harsh environment for sunshine so you can put this outside but in the summer that's a big no-no don't put this outside because I mean in direct sunlight because if you put this in direct sunlight you will burn this and you're gonna kill your plants all right there's another one there there's another new growth it's very very exciting that's heaps of the new growth in the spike very good this 
is exciting and see what's in there it look like new growth hi it look like new growth because it's not very pointy i'll see i'll update you in the future very soon guys and there's more suit about there more there and there's a main topic here for today <laughs> That's about it for my same video guys and I'm gonna update you when this one is open and have to be very very patient and very rewarding once this one is really bloom for ya. This is the first time bloom for me and I'm really really happy. In the past I have a little small siblings for this but because we leave it we leave it in my in-law and he said it's still growing really well. So this time I really get it really nice with the spike and nearly flowering orchids which is really really exciting. There you go guys. And also if you're wondering where, where we bought this online, I'll also put this in the description below. So all, all of you my Australian friends know where I bought this and you can check it online as well. We have in the website along in Australian website nursery or cat all right thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video today give us a thumbs up share and even like and also if you not subscribe in the channel please do and we really, really appreciate it thank you so much for watching and i see you next time when this one will be update this for sure will be flowering will be a really really, really exciting color Thank you guys, and that's it about my Symbidium hybrid heart. I should put the, the idea of this so I won't forget this in the future. Should have got a name here, like the pink colorful, we'll see. Again guys, thanks so much for watching, and have a good day. Take care everybody out there. We're always thinking of you in these tough times, alright? Come on, kid lover team. Bye for now.